Happy Thursday. Happy Thursday. Happy Thursday to each and every one of you. You already know we got the activities of our limbs. We ain't in nobody's hospital and we ain't in nobody's jail. But believe you me, as I say each and every week, they will make room for you because you know that they will. Listen, I didn't been in the hospital and I didn't been in the jail. And believe you me, they will make room for you. But if you are tuning in, you're listening to Yeah, I said it because y'all already know before I take it back, I'm going to add more to it. And I know you heard me the first time. If you're tuning in, it is April, y'all. It's the second quarter of the year. And listen, you made it through them first little 91 days. And you over here, we're about to walk into this hundredth day of the year 2022, baby. And I'm going to tell you something. Every time I turn around, I thank God that I don't look like what I've been through. Have you ever seen some people? Because I've seen some people. I know some people that look like what they've been through. Okay. Um, and I'm super duper excited. If you're tuning in, you're listening to Yeah, I Said It. And before I take it back, I'm going to add more to it. And I know you heard me the first time. Listen, I'm talking to you today about what did you learn? What did you learn? You know, oftentimes I run into people who, you know, they want to give me their they story and they want to tell me about their little two fuse and the biscuits. But one of my main questions with running into people is, what did you learn? Every day that we wake up, we are learning lessons. We're either learning lessons or we're giving lessons. And depending on where you are in life, either you are the one receiving the lesson or you're the one teaching the lesson. See, as a mom, um, you know, I oftentimes had to ask my son, uh, what did you learn from this so that you don't make the same mistakes over and over and over again? Have you ever met someone who keeps running into the same problems? They want you to get them the same support about the same issue. And see, one of the things that I learned um, being a, a, a young mom and, and being a, a, a single parent was learning the fact that you're going to come across some scenarios and some situations that's going to question, did you learn anything from what you went through? And see, if you are um, understanding your life and understanding your purpose in life, you also are understanding that there are going to be times and there are going to be some issues that you are going to come across that are going to make you question some things. But if you don't learn the lesson, guess what's going to happen? Guess what's going to happen? You're going to have to repeat that same scenario and issue all over again. See, one of the challenges that we often face is that we often are more focused on being the victim in the situation than focus on how can I be a victor in this situation? How am I going to let this situation not take me over? Or am I going to sit there and let this situation take me over? This is one of the reasons why as a, as a woman, I find it very difficult to deal with passive women. And then not to say that there's anything wrong with passive women. I just have an issue with it because I'm an assertive woman. I like getting things done. I don't like God repeating lessons for me because I felt them and I didn't learn from the first time that I was paying attention. And see, sometimes we end up hurting ourselves. We'll blame everybody else for the mistakes we made because we didn't learn our lessons the first time. And if you're tuning in, you're listening to Yeah, I said it. And before I take it back, I'm going to add more to it. I'm talking all about what did you learn? Because a lot of the repeat mistakes and the repeat offenses that we run into, we end up running into those same scenarios and situations because we didn't learn what we were supposed to learn the first time it happened. See, a lot of us, we put our uh, issues and blame things on other people um, when we don't take accountability of what we didn't learn. It's like a person who goes to prison and they say they want to do better. And then they get out of prison and they do what? The same things that they was doing before they went to prison. And see, what you got to understand is, is that there are going to be times where people are going to try to play you because they felt like you didn't learn the lesson the first time. And see, one of the things that I've learned in life is that there are going to be people who genuinely look out for you 
and encourage you and educate you on things that you need to do. And then there are going to be people that is going to let you fall by the wayside. They're going to let you run into those mistakes. They're going to let you run into those issues and they're going to let you run into those different scenarios if you didn't learn the lesson the first time. And it's the same thing with as a parent. As a parent, you can't always stop your child from making certain mistakes. Some of those mistakes your kid is going to have to learn, just like you had to learn because you thought you knew everything from your mom and your daddy and you thought that you knew better than them. And in some cases, as kids, we did know better than our parents. Because, you know, there were things that my mom didn't know when it came to FAFSA and, and when it came to certain applications and certain uh, learning materials. My mom wasn't very um, equipped to know certain things. But then on the other end, my mom was equipped when it came to life. And every day that we wake up, there is a, le a lesson that you got to learn about life especially when it comes to finances, family, friends, when it comes to your health, when it comes to business, when it comes to ethics, there are things that you're going to learn every day about yourself. And guess what? If you're not paying attention, you won't learn the people you're dealing with. You won't learn the people you're dealing with. Because this is the thing. There were some people I thought I knew, right? There are going to be some people that you are going to be and walk this journey with. There are going to be some people that are going to be considered family and friends that you're going to walk this journey with. And I'm going to tell you something. There are some journeys that I'm glad I didn't walk with certain people because they didn't have the strength or the capacity to be able to walk this journey with me. See, there are some journeys that you're going to have to walk in life and everybody won't be able to go with you on those journeys. And I'm going to tell you why. Because everybody doesn't have the mindset or the strength that you need in order to do what it is that you need to do. And see, one of the things that I've learned is that life is school. My sister said it last night. I was writing it down. She probably didn't even know it. But every day that you wake up and you walk out that door, every day that you wake up and you give your business a second try, every day that you wake up, you give your marriage and your relationships and your children second chances. And every day that you wake up and you say, I'm gonna do this business one more time and I'm gonna, I'm gonna get out here and I'm gonna try it again. And, and despite all of the, the situations and circumstances and problematic situations that arise in your life, you get out and you keep trying and see, when you learn that life is school, you'll also learn, okay, let me focus and study. This is why the Bible says study to so, show yourself approved, because when life lessons come, you want to be able to be equipped to handle them. There are some things that people can't handle because they weren't equipped to handle them in the first place. There are some parents that can't be good parents because they weren't equipped to be good parents in the first place. See, there are some things that we require from people who weren't built to do what we do in the first place. See, the reason why I was so successful with being a mother and a parent to my son, because I was already a big sister to my siblings. And see, some of the reasons why you can be successful with what you do is because of the simple fact that you've been already trained to do what you do. This is one of the reasons why when I look at other people, I'm trying to put my charger on this other device. One of the reasons why I look at people the way I look at them and I say to myself, I'm equipped for this thing. Now, you may you may be uh, a cut, copy and paste, but I'm equipped for this thing. And see, some people are equipped to do what they do. And then there are some people that just follow and, and, and copy what it is that you do. And if you're tuning in, you're listening to Yeah, I said it before I take it back. I'm going to add more to it. And I'm talking all about what did you learn? Because a lot of us will play the victim. You know, some people who play the victim in situations and scenarios where they clearly didn't learn the lesson. All they learned was that they were the victim. Oh, I've been victimized. And it doesn't mean that them being a victim isn't valid. It just means that, okay, with you being a victim, what did you learn so that you no longer become a victim again? It's like a person who's attracted to thugs. You a woman and you attracted to thugs, you also got to be prepared 
to what type of stuff and scenarios you get into when it comes to dating a thug. See, this is one of the reasons why, you know, I saw online the, 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 the back and forth about, you know, Sierra being with Russell Wilson versus being with Future. You got to understand that every scenario and situation that you are a part of, there is a lesson that you are going to have to learn from that. You are going to have to learn the lessons from those relationships and those decisions that we make. And if you don't learn from those lessons, guess what happens? You run back into those same scenarios. A lot of us are crying over spilt milk because we didn't learn the lesson of how to clean it up the first time. We let other people clean it up. We let other people deal with it. And see, one of the things that you got to be careful of is letting other people learn the lesson that you were supposed to learn. It's a difficult situation when you um, watch your children learn more from others than they do from you. When you are a parent, an educator, a mentor, a leader in life, your wisdom, your lessons that you have learned, it is imperative that you teach the lesson so that the people that's learning from you don't make the same mistake. If you're teaching children how to roll up a blunt before you're teaching them about Bible scriptures and how to pray, that's a problem. If your children and people around you know more about Gucci than they know about God, that's a problem. If people know more about real housewives or whoever, but they don't know about how to be a real wife, that's a problem. And see, what we end up doing is we end up teaching lessons that have no value. We end up repeating cycles of situations because clearly ain't nobody learned the lesson. This is why we have generational curses. And then we look at other people and their families because they are exercising generational blessings. If he went to prison, they went to prison, they went to prison, you would think somebody would say, hey, ain't nobody else going to prison in my family and I'm gonna make sure of it because we didn't learn all the lessons that we can learn. But then you got some dummies that don't mind teaching you how to carjack a car teaching you how to steal airbags and, and car radios, teaching you how to do all the negative things that will land you what? Right back another generation in prison. If you're not careful, and if you're tuning in, you're listening to, yeah, I said it and before I take it back, I'm gonna add more to it. I'm talking all about what did you learn? Because a lot of us, talk about situations that we have been in, but we ain't learned our lesson. We want a smaller waistline. We want the waistline we used to have, but we still eating the cupcakes. What did you learn? Because you know when you had that waistline, you wasn't eating everything. You wasn't sitting on the couch. You was active with that waistline. You sitting on the couch in this waistline. How you how you learning how you learning something and see this one of the reasons why I walk into my power the way that I've walked I walk into it is because I don't want to keep making the same mistakes and asking God for forgiveness for the same thing. You can't keep having a bunch of kids and asking God forgive me for fornicating. That God gonna say, well, are you done or are you finished? Because I can't move and bless you with what I want to bless you with if you keep doing the same things you want me to forgive you for. I couldn't ask God to keep forgiving me for something that I'm going to keep doing. Until you actually done, that's when you can say, you know what, God, I'm done. I'm finished. Take this from me. I don't want this no more. I want to do better. I want to be better. I want what you have for me. And so in order for me to get what you have for me, I got to show God that I'm serious about what I want. And see, some of y'all ain't serious about what y'all want. Y'all playing with it. And y'all letting other people play with y'all. Don't nobody play with me about my business. You can call me crazy. You can call me a B-I-T-C-H. You can call me whatever it is that you want to call me. But I let people play with me a long time ago. Years and years and years. People in the church playing with me. People at my old church playing with me. People at my job playing with me. Stop playing with me. This ain't no joke. This ain't no game. This is my life. This is my son. So if you want to play with me, then you're going to have to feel what I'm about to bring to the table. And see, some people will play with you 
They'll play, oh, your little small business. Oh, your little podcast. Oh, your little TV show. You know, they, they want to add little to whatever it is that you're doing. It ain't nothing little about what I do. It's something little about what you do. But ain't nothing little about what I do. Because I'm going to tell you something. I influence people that don't even, that won't even tell you that I influence them. Let me tell you something. You influence your haters more than you think you do. Your haters watch you more than the people who actually support you. I, let me tell you something. Without a shadow of a doubt, I can tell you right now, my haters know more about my moves than I do. I bet you they can tell you what I had on. They can tell you where I was at. They can tell you who I was with. They can tell you what I said. They can tell you more stuff about how I move than the people who actually support me. You know why? Because when you are a leader and you are stepping out on faith, people see that. And then people also see your success. And people watch and they pay attention to your success versus the successes of others. See, regardless of what a person will tell you, they know that you influence them. This is why I often ask people, well, what did you learn? You, you hanging out with certain people and, and you calling people friends and people family and people this and people that. What did you learn from them? I don't want nobody around me I can't learn from. I can't glean from. If you can't learn from me and I can't learn from you, why are we even connected? To get high, to get drunk, to party? How that's helping us? Because it sounds like we're spending more money than we're making. You, oh, you want to hang out? What we hanging out for? We having a business meeting? What we talking about? Getting to the bag, getting more bread, having more generational wealth? Because if I'm sitting here smoking with you, drinking with you, partying with you, and you're still broke and I'm still broke, what are we celebrating? We just out here just kicking it. And this is one of the reasons why um, I don't get mad when people copy off of me anymore. When you are a person of influence, people are going to copy off of you. People are going to act like they, they, they don't see what you're doing and they see exactly what you're doing and they want to do it exactly like you. Some people won't collaborate with you. Some people will make you their competition. And see, one of the things that I've learned is that when people decide to make me their competition, you've already lost. You've already lost. Anybody that decides to make you their competition and you didn't make them your competition, they've already lost. Baby, we ain't the same. We don't share the same journey. We don't share the same walk. We, ha we have some similarities, but we ain't the same. My outcome and my return on my investment is going to be a whole lot different than yours because of the seeds that I've already sown. And see, one of the things that you got to understand is that my blessings don't just come from my ma my name being Jaja. My blessings come from years and years and years of sowing seeds that you all have no idea that I've sown. Looking out for people that you have no idea that I've looked out for. Influencing other leaders, because when you are a leader of leaders. A leader of leaders are people like Dr. Martin Luther King. Who. Although is a leader, he has influenced other leaders. People like Oprah Winfrey, she's a leader of leaders. Leaders reference her. When you talk about Jesus, Jesus was a leader of leaders. He created other leaders. And see, when you're a leader of leaders, you aren't intimidated by the people who decide they want to follow you and copy off of you and do what you do. You know what that means? That means I have influence. And no matter what nobody says about me or you or what you decide to do, you have influence. Now, the, the question is, what type of influencer are you going to be? Are you going to be the type of influencer that creates chaos and, and causes other people not to like other people? Or are you going to be the person who, who uses the life lessons that you've learned to influence people to do positive things? Are you going to be the person that sits around and hates on another person because they out here doing their thing? Or are you going to be the person that uses your influence to big up another woman or big up another man? Are you going to use your influence and the lessons that you've learned in life to help somebody else 
be better or are you going to be the person that uses your influence to break a person down? See, one of the things that I've learned about my community is that I want to be around people who learn their lessons and they pay attention to the lessons in life. I don't want to be around people this uh da 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 dumb. They ain't paying attention that's not that's, that's happening to the things that's happening in their life. And this is how you end up getting caught up in other people's stuff. You get caught up in other people's drama. You get caught up in other people's chaos. You get caught up in other people's stuff because nobody's paying attention to the lessons that are supposed to be learned. If you saw a family member die because of unhealthy habits and then here you are still eating bacon and extra fried and lard and you got it's 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 fried this and and, and pork that and and and, and, and uh, microwave this and microwave that you ain't learned no lesson on health if 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 you still in the same predicament that you were in years ago you ain't learning no lessons and see one of the things that i've learned is that they are going to be pros. There's always going to be pros to the lesson if you learn it the first time. If you're tuning in, you're listening to, yeah, I said it. And before I take it back, I'm going to add more to it. And I know you heard me the first time. I'm talking all about what did you learn? And listen, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Make sure you follow me on TikTok. Listen, follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Facebook. I follow back. Don't be acting brand new because you know me and I know you. And you better act like you know me because when you call me asking me for some information, we ain't about to play them type of games, okay? And listen, this Saturday, we got Black Bingo coming up. Listen, if you're short on change and your money's funny and your change is strange, listen, come on over to Black Bingo. We're going to be hanging out at 220 uh bagley uh street at the michigan building um me and my partner black economic exchange my homegirl crystal rice jenkins we're doing black business bingo giving out grants giving out money because that's what it's all about it's about supporting the black dollar supporting the black business and supporting the black family and if you're not doing that then all you're doing is working against what we're trying to build either you working with us or you working against us but you can't do both and this is one of the things that I've had to learn in life. There are going to be people that are going to ride the fence in your life. They're going to ride that gray area. They're going to be a little bit cool with you and then still cool with your enemies. They're going to still hear you out, but they still going to be up under their enemies. They still going to ride with you, but they also going to be in the car with your enemies. And this is one of the reasons why when I deal with people, I deal with them according to what I'm looking at. Not what you saying. We not we we not going by you telling me you love me no more. We we not going by you saying you support me no more. Either you doing it or you not doing it. Cuz cuz life is too short to be playing games with people. We just lost millions of people in a pandemic with a plague that's still plaguing our communities. And guess what? People are still dealing with the aftermaths of having COVID. My taste buds ain't even the same no more. Did I get my taste buds back? Yes. But are they the same? No. Sometimes I got to roll down the window just to catch my breath. Was that like that before? No, it was not. And so there are people who are dealing with ramifications and aftermaths of things. There are people who are suffering from alopecia from the vaccine. There are people who are getting sick from getting the vaccine. And at the end of the day, whether you got it, didn't get it, or whatever the case may be, there are underlining issues that we all have had to deal with and you mean to tell me that we out here not learning our lessons? What did you learn during the pandemic? What did you, what did you learn about you? What did you learn uh, uh, about your family? What did you learn about your life? See, if you still messy after losing siblings, after losing parents, after losing jobs, if you still backbiting and talking about people and being shysty and shady after all that this world and this city and, and your family has gone it, it, you, if you still operating like you work for satan i don't want to be around that energy 
Because there are people that's going to quote scriptures and they still are working for Satan. There are going to be people that say they praying for you and they are praying on you. P-R-E-Y, not P-R-A-Y. It's a difference between people who actually are praying for your well-being, want you to be better, want your life to be right, want you to have a better outcome, even if that means, watch this, your outcome ends up being better than theirs. There are a lot of people who are going to say that they are for you when they really low key against you. They want you to have a little bit of success, but they don't want you to have as much success as them. And as a woman in business and a woman in media, I oftentimes get people who want to do what I do until they see how much hard work it takes to do what I do. People want to do what you do because they see the limelight of what it brings and the attention of what it brings and the money of what it brings, but they don't understand the sacrifices, the dedication, the commitment that is required for you to be able to do the things that you do. And if you're tuning in, you're listening to, yeah, I said it before I take it back, I'm going to add more to it. I'm talking about what did you learn? Because one of the things that I've learned is that you're not going to play with me because I'm not about to play with you. When you've lost parents and you've lost siblings and you've lost jobs and you damn didn't lost your mind and you didn't got your mind back and you didn't you didn't been depressed and you got your smile back and you've dealt with anxiety and you at a and you're at a peaceful place. You don't want to jeopardize that. You don't want nobody else to jeopardize that. And this is one of the reasons why I had to learn there are some things that I'm not going to allow myself to get upset about no more. I'm not going to allow somebody that I know don't like me to value their opinion. Why would I value the opinion of somebody that don't like me? Why would I value the opinion of somebody that don't have good leadership skills and they're copying I can't, I can't learn or glean from you if you copying off of me. That lets me know you don't have any leadership skills. And that also lets me know you aren't creative. If you find yourself copying off somebody else, that lets me know that you are not creative. And that lets me know that you are lazy. If you decide that you want to copy off somebody else, if that's not what God gave you, it's different if you said, okay, I know God gave me this vision. I know God gave me this idea. I didn't get it from myself. That's one thing. But if you just copying off to somebody else because you see the success of what they're doing. I got a, a text message this morning of somebody who was telling me that somebody wanted to, they doing them a poetry night now. Okay, good. Good for you. Long as it ain't on the day's minds is, I'm perfectly fine with it. Because I'm going to tell you something. There are some people that are going to think they can do what you do and they cannot until they realize how hard and dedicated and committed and resilient you have to be in order to do what it is that you do. See, it's easy to criticize a parent until you become one. Now you got to deal with all of the critiquing that you did about somebody else's parenting. And now you got to deal with being a parent yourself. See, it was easy to critique somebody else's business and their business ethics. And now you got a business and you trying to figure it out. See, it was easy to critique somebody else when it wasn't your turn. It was easy to give your opinion about what somebody else was doing until it was your turn. And my question to you is, what did you learn? I run into people all the time that keep making the same dumb decisions. And what that tells me is, is you keep making these dumb decisions because you didn't learn anything from the previous time that you made the last dumb decision. And see, sometimes there are going to be people who have repetitive behavioral traits. And we keep forgiving them because we hope and anticipate that their behaviors are going to change. It's like somebody who keeps doing the same thing. They keep cheating on you. You keep catching them. You keep forgiving them, hoping that their apology is going to equate to 
them changing. You forgiving them doesn't equate to their change behavior. Their change behavior equates to their change behavior. See, a lot of us will listen to the Apollo lie because it don't be an apology. It'll be an Apollo lie. You'll let people Apollo lie to you in your face and they don't have any change behavior behind the Apollo lie. And so now you mad at yourself because you believe that they had changed. And I'm going to tell you something. There are people who will want to be in your life for what you can do for them. How you can shine the light on them. But do they shine the light on you? Do they support you? There are going to be people that want you to do stuff for them. And are they doing something for you? Because this is the season of reciprocity. And if you're not giving out what you want back, and if you're not supporting others the way you want them to support you, then you might as well hang it up. Because at the end of the day, what I'm not going to do in this season of my life is give people passes to do what they want to do in my life. And then when it comes to me needing help from you, you ain't nowhere to be found. And see, people love to ride your coattail into the sunset and ain't did nothing and then go off and be successful off of working off of you. See, I look at people who who copy off of the way I do things and they take what they've learned from others. And they'll take a little bit from you and take a little bit from you and take a little bit from you and then they'll go and operate as if they are this person. You're not that person. You just copied off of everybody else's personality and used it as your own. And this is why you got to be careful of paying attention to people that talk and they walk don't match their talk. See, there are a lot of people that'll get up here and say, yeah, we got to support black businesses and we got to support one another. But then they'll cause obstructions and blockages for other people that look just like them. We literally all donated to the Black Lives campaign, but then they turned around and bought a, a, a million dollar mansion. What is it are we exactly supporting? How is it exactly benefiting us? Because when you start learning lessons about life, you understand the pros and the cons that come with those life lessons. You understand and put more value on the pros and cons of the things that you're learning. You ain't just sitting around letting life just happen to you. And see, there are some people that life is just happening to them. They get up, they go to work, they come home, they sit down, they eat, they get, they go to sleep. They wake up, they eat, they go to work, they go have lunch, they go, excuse me, they go home, they come back, they eat dinner, they lay down, they wake up, and they do this day in, day out. And, and then they look at people who go after their dreams with envy. Because they didn't want to step out on faith and go and pursue the dream that they had for them. And when you understand life lessons, you understand that every day that we wake up, there's an opportunity for us to go after what it is that God put in our spirit to go after. But if you're scared to do it, if you've allowed other people to talk you out of doing it, if circumstances have come in your life that cause you to quit, you know, right now. I'm dealing with some litigations because I, I, I got to I got to deal with people the way white people deal with business. See, white people, white people don't they, they ain't about to fight you. They going to sue you. They ain't they not going to they ain't cocktail bomb in your house. They ain't going to run up on you and beat you up. They just going to sue you. And see, now that I'm I'm, I'm a lot mature in my business practices. Instead of me operating in the joy road way of doing things, I've learned that in order for me to be much more successful than I am, I'm going to have to learn to do things the way that successful people do them. See, if I really wanted to, to do something, it could get done. But I, I got to do it the way the guy said do it so that it can be effective. See, when you learn certain lessons, you also learn I can't do things the way that I've been doing. Them. Running up on you and whooping your behind. Yeah, that would be easy for me to do. 
But the lesson behind that, I learned my lesson before. And I ain't trying to go back to jail because you you going to call the police. Because see, people who run their mouth and do a lot of talking and always causing problems for, and, and issues for people. And then when you go and run up on them and then you got something to ch and you check them. And now all of a sudden they, oh, I, I, what are you talking about? I, it, I'm not now all of a sudden you calling up police when you just when you just talking about me when you just a, a boss when you just big bad suge knight you was real gangster uh, uh, when, when it was when you had the time and see there are some people that i've had to pull their coattail there are some people that that i've had to pull their whole car just to see are you really made of what you say you made of because see there are going to be a lot of people that you going to think that they made of certain things you going to think that they got some real true integrity you going to think that they got some real true ethics about them you going to think they got some real real godliness in them because they know how to quote scriptures real good they know how to sing a good old melody and a good old tune they know how to they know how to finesse their way through people but i'm gonna tell you something the way you do people when nobody's watching Cause see, I've I've run into instances where I've seen people have conversations and they dogging a person, and I'm watching them. I'm watching. You know when somebody talking about somebody, and then 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 when I didn't caught them, and now they didn't caught eye, eye contact with me. Now they looking. Hey, hey. and I, I I do them just like they do me. Hey, yeah, I know you was talking. Yeah, I know you shysty with your shady self. Cause see, I'm gonna tell you something. When you are a person and a woman or a man of integrity, when you got the spirit of discernment, when you are an empath and you get people and you get their personalities, it's not much that people can try to slide through the cracks because you already see it on them. Oh, I see you fake. I see you phony. I just gotta deal with you accordingly. That's it. That's all. Yeah, I'm not. I'm. You ain't got an enemy out of me, baby. I, I just know. I learned my lesson and now I learn how to deal with you. And if you're tuning in, you're listening to Yah said it before I take it back, I'm going to add more to it. And I know you heard me the first time because at the end of the day, what you also have to understand is when you see and pay attention and you learn your lessons the first time, you don't got to run into them tears and that heartache the second time. You don't got to run into that heartache no more. See, when I realized that that joker wasn't no good, I'm not about to keep running back to you so that you can keep hurting me. I ran back to you and you knew that you could hurt me. Because see, when people know or think that you have put more value on them, they'll keep doing you the way that they know to do you. You can't expect for them to do you right if you're okay with them doing you wrong. See, I had to learn people aren't going to call you crazy for nothing. People only call you crazy because now you have some standards. You got standards now. And see, the minute you got standards, everybody want to call you crazy. The minute that you say something and you mean what you say and you say what you mean, now all of a sudden you a B-I-T-C-H or you crazy or you doing too much. No, baby, I'm not doing too much. You're not doing enough. That's why you got a problem with what I'm doing. People only have issues with what you do because they not doing what they supposed to be doing. How is it that you can critique what I'm doing if you ain't learning about what you should be doing? I'm focused on learning lessons in life over here. What you learning over there? Because see, some people learn how to be petty over there. Some people know how to be dramatic over there. Some people know how to learn to be good liars over there. See, there are certain crews and certain people that condone certain behavioral traits. You're not coming over here with no lies. I don't want to hear that. You're not coming over here talking about this person. I don't want to hear that. Did you tell them? And can see, there are some people who, who like listening to drama. That's why certain people at my church, I don't fool with you. I don't care if you're an evangelist, you're a missionary, you're a deacon, you're an elder, you're a minister, you're whoever. 
I don't care what name or title is a part of your name because if you shysty, you shysty. And see, the enemy is always going to show you people. And he ain't going to show you if you don't ask for it. You don't get wisdom unless you ask for it. I ask God for wisdom. God, show me what I need to learn from these people. Show me what I needed to learn in this scenario. Show me what I need to learn in this lesson. You have it. You have you. You have issues, but you're going to keep doing the same thing over and over and over again. That's ludicrous. That's crazy. You're going to keep doing the same thing over and over and over again, thinking that you're going to get different results. How, Sway? How do you anticipate? How do you anticipate sharing anything if at the end of the day, at the end of the day, you're not paying attention to your lessons? And see, if you had any inkling of a loss during the pandemic, whether it was a family member that you lost, income that you lost, if you lost anything, you should be focused on gaining and sustaining a peace of mind. We literally watch people lose their minds, lose jobs, lose lives, lose homes, and you still causing problems in other people's lives? You didn't learn nothing. I was at the grocery store the other day and a girl was on the phone Just going, just going, 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 going. I beat that B.A. and I don't got a problem with them, but they got a problem with me. And y'all want to have problems. I don't got time for that. And she just going. And all I could think of was, how is it that we are in this time frame and in this season in our lives and you still have the mitigated audacity to cause a problem in somebody else's life that ain't causing a problem in yours? That's a dangerous place to be. Because one of the things that I've learned in life, let me tell you one of the biggest life lessons I've learned in life is that karma has no expiration date. Just because you didn't get it back yet, that don't mean that you ain't going to get back what you dished out. This is why I treat people the way I treat them. I'm going to treat you just like you going to treat me. You treat me with love, I'm going to treat you with more love. But if you decide that you don't want to treat me with no love, you ain't going to get no love from me. You're going to get respect. And you're going to get kindness. That means I'm going to be polite. That don't mean we cool. That don't mean we friends. That don't mean we about to be hanging out again. That don't mean none of that. But what it does mean is I'm not about to cause no problems for you. So don't cause no problems for me. And anybody that's causing problems for you that you didn't cause no problems for is a problem. I stay away from people who intentionally want to do me harm, intentionally want to do me, do, do me in. I learned my lesson. I'm not about to be calling you my friend and I know you ain't my friend. I ain't doing that. Because there were seasons in my life where I was calling people my friend. It wasn't my friend. It was trying to set me up, talk about me, dog me out, cause problems in my life. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. And see, when you learn, I ain't, I ain't got to deal with that. I ain't got to deal with that. I don't got to deal with lessons that you don't want to learn. It's like being around, being with your mate, and they keep spending the money. So you mean to tell me that you're not learning the fact that we trying to get out of debt? So you just going to keep making the same money issues and money problems? I can't be connected to somebody that ain't learning no lessons. I can't, I can't lay down and be laying down with somebody because we're going to do more. We're going to do more standing up than we are lying down. And if you're not learning your lessons in life, you're going to cause problems for me in my life. That's just like when you have your children and your children get of age. There are only certain lessons that you can only teach that they're going to have to learn on their own. There are some things that I can't teach, Tayshaun. 
I can warn them. I can prepare them. But there are going to be some things that my son is going to have to learn on his own. And if he don't get that lesson, guess what? If my son don't get that lesson that he was supposed to learn, guess what? He's going to have to learn it again. We all been there. You all thought you knew more than your mama, more than your daddy, more than your grandma. And as you got older and as you had more life and more lessons, guess what? Them lessons brought them them lessons not only taught you they brought you let me tell you something every time i have had a situation i have had to learn something from it and if i did not learn something from it guess what ended up happening i ended up having to deal with that same lesson right now I am learning to rebuild my finances. So because I'm learning to rebuild my finances, maintain my credit, maintain my scores, guess what? I can't keep utilizing the same bad money habits that I had in the past. No, I can't buy them shoes just because I want them and I got the money for them. If I'm trying to go to Dubai, that, that ain't going to work. If I'm trying to go to Dubai, I can't buy the ten dollars shoes. I gotta maintain my and I gotta maintain my journey on, for my finances so that I can get to where I'm trying to go. If you have goals in life, in order for you to reach those goals in life, you are going to have to learn those lessons from the past that allowed you not to that allowed you not to be successful in those previous goals. If you were a homeowner. And you lost your home to foreclosure. Whether you were overtaxed by our scam and government in our city. Or if you lost your home or whatever the case may be to whatever the circumstance. Now you know, okay, let me pay attention to my tax papers. Let me pay attention to my banking. Let me pay attention to my payments. See, because when you learned your lesson and you didn't like being homeless you also recognize I can't keep making these same mistakes. This is one of the reasons why when I go and I mentor young people, it ain't because I want to just tell them what to do. It's because there are some lessons that life is going to teach you. And those lessons are going to be hard. And some people commit suicide because of life gets hard. Those lessons become too difficult to deal with. Suicide becomes prevalent when life becomes too hard to deal with. Suicidal thoughts come into our minds, not because we just want to die. It's because the lessons in life became too much for us to bear. The life that we are living, the circumstances that we are in, there are some people that have caused more problems for you, but you keep, you didn't learn the lesson, so you let them back in. You want to hold on to the marriage, but the marriage been done. And God ain't going to look or frown upon you if you decide to walk away from a situation that you know ain't benefiting you and it ain't helping you in no type of way. I look at women and I and I say to myself, why are you torturing yourself? Why are you torturing yourself in relationships and, re and friendships that you know mean you no good? There are some people that we know don't mean us no good, but because of the history and because you've known this person and because of what's attached and because we got a kid together and because we got this, baby, let me tell you something. There is not one single soul in my life that I want to be in my life that causes me problems. If you don't bring no peace to my life, I don't want you in my life. And see, when there are, when there's history involved, when there is uh, loyalty involved, you don't want to look like you too faced it. But at the end of the day, you are going to end up losing more than what you would gain if you stay a part of certain scenarios. There are some situations that I don't want in my life because you didn't show me that you had my back 
and you didn't show me you had my front. See, I pay attention to what people do, not what people say. And there are always going to be people in your life that are going to teach you lessons like, oh, I got your back. Have you ever heard somebody tell you I got your back and they ain't got your back? They don't even have their own back. How you going to have my back if you ain't got your own back? How you going to support me and you don't even support yourself? How you going to help me and you don't even help yourself? How you going to look out for me and you ain't even looking out for you? I had to pay attention to the people that were saying one thing and doing another. Because if you're tuning in, you're listening to, yeah, I said it. And before I take it back, I'm going to add more to it. I'm talking about what did you learn? Because I don't want people around me that keep got to, they got to keep learning the same lesson. Every time I'm around you, you always broke. Why are you always broke? Because you ain't learned the financial lessons that you were supposed to learn long time ago. I can't be around you if you still dealing with the same lessons. You didn't learn? What, what did you learn? If we still making the same scenarios, if we're dealing with the same issues, if we're dealing with the same traumas, that lets me know you didn't learn anything. And if you didn't learn anything, you are going to make me lose. It's like a basketball team that comes back for their next season. And they learned how they played in the last season didn't work well for them. This season, we got baseball season getting ready to come in to play. And guess what? Every baseball team was looking at. They was looking at their videos from the last season. They was looking at their plays and how they played in the last season. And if they played well, guess what? They going to play just like that and better so that they can win the, the championship, the playoffs, or whatever it is that they want to win. Because when you start learning the lessons, when you start learning what works, what doesn't work, who, who works, who doesn't work, then you have a better understanding of your time. And you also say, you know what? No, you ain't going to waste my time. This conversation ain't worth me having because I learned my lesson the last time. And the last time we had this conversation, there was no resolve. There was no there, there was no uh, return on the investment. Neither one of us won because all we did was argue. So because I learned my lesson the last time that you don't know how to have a conversation, I'm not going to waste my time in this season. Because you don't know how to hold yourself accountable. So because you don't know how to hold yourself accountable, ain't no point in us having a conversation. Let me save myself some stress today. Because you ain't got there yet. See, I had to learn. Stop stressing over people who never saw you the way you needed to be seen in the first place. Nobody's going to see you. Or value you the way you want them to, if you don't see yourself as a value, if you don't see yourself in the eyes of the beholder in the way that they need to see you. And if they don't see you that way, guess what? That's okay. That's perfectly fine. You have to learn to be perfectly fine with people who don't see you the way you see yourself. I love me. And if I'm around somebody that don't love me, I don't need to be around you. Because guess what? I have learned that you can be around people who don't like you, don't love you, don't have no type of love for you. But if there's a mission to accomplish, guess what? We focused on the mission. But if you can't focus on the mission, then I don't need to be around you. That's just like two parents that don't get along. But if you can get along enough to raise that child, then you understand the mission. But if the person, if the other parent is always going to blame the other parent for what they did not do, could not do, wasn't going to do, guess what? They're going to always have an excuse. They're going to always have a reason to blame somebody else because they did not learn the lesson. And well, guess what's going to happen? They're going to make the same mistake with the next kid, with the next kid, with the next kid. And it's just like a person who does business. If you learn about the mistakes early on in your business, guess what? You won't keep making those same mistakes in the next business or another business. Or when you decide that you want to partner with somebody, I learned my lesson about partnering with people. I ain't partnering with nobody unless there's a memorandum of understanding, if there's a, a, a non-disclosure agreement, if there's a partnership agreement. Because guess what? You're not going to have me on the sidelines boohooing and crying, trying to figure out what just happened. I learned my lesson. And because I learned my lesson, I don't walk into those same scenarios no more. When you learn your lesson, when you, when you recognize 
Oh, this is set up. I, I know my lesson. I've been here before. Um, I'm going to exit stage left because I already know what this look like. And see, you can't live life without learning about life. I find it very... I find it very difficult with people who just out here just living. They, they, they ain't living for no reason. They just out here. And see, people that's just out here, they don't have uh, no real will to live. And they will make you lose everything that you are trying to build because they don't value anything. There, there are going to be people that you are going to put things in their hands and they're not going to be able to handle what you put in their hands because they didn't value what you had in the first place. This is one of the reasons why I have to look at people and say, OK. What are you really learning? What is what is it that you have learned and valued out of the scenario that you have been placed in. And you'll keep running into scenarios with certain situations if you don't learn that lesson. This is why iron sharpens iron. Strong people, strong people build up strong people. Weak people go to weak people to do weak stuff. See, if you a weak person, you gonna entertain weak sugar honey iced tea. If you a messy person, you're going to entertain messy stuff. If you're a dramatic person, you're going to entertain drama. If you're a person of black power, black lives matter, entrepreneurship, black family, helping out communities, black women, supporting families, then guess what? Anything that's not about that ain't going to matter. But see, when you entertain certain scenarios and certain conversations, that's what you're learning. That's what you're entertaining. See, I, I, I follow behind people I can glean from, people I can learn from, people that's going to make me better. I'm not about to sit here and be talking to you and, and you broke. You can't help me learn how to make no money. You just as broke as me. This is one of the reasons why a lot of us keep keep going in circles in a hamster wheel and we're not seeing any any return on our investment because we are entertaining individuals that aren't allowing us to learn the lessons that we need to learn how you let somebody put you in some put you into a scenario in a situation and they're not helping you to get out of it i don't want to be a part of nothing like that and see at the end of the day people know what they do people know how they move People know how they operate. People know that if this is a lesson that I need to learn and you understand that this is a lesson that I that I want to learn, you're going to learn it. But if you out here, oh, willy nilly, don't care, don't see a value, you're not going to learn the lesson. You're not going to see any value in anything. It's like a person who decides that they maybe want to redecorate their home. Well, you also know that it comes to redecorating. It's levels to it. It's a process. You don't just get in there and just start redecorating. And now you got to start doing stuff over because, oh, I forgot. I didn't get the right paint or I didn't get the right tape or I didn't get the right paint brushes. So when you learn your lessons, you also get prepared to do things better. One of the reasons why. There are things that I do that are successful is because I learned my lesson and how to make them more successful than before. When you learn, OK, this worked out well. This was a success. OK, what did we do that made this particular thing so successful? OK, let me go back to the drawing board and take what I learned from this, add some more to it. Right. So that I can make it a lot more successful than what it was. And if you're tuning in, you're listening to, yeah, I said it. And before I take it back, I'm going to add more to it. If you're tuning in, I'm talking all about what did you learn? Because when you start learning what you need to learn and you start learning those lessons, you'll start learning to make better decisions. People that make dumb decisions, impulsive decisions, quick decisions, they ain't learn no lessons. And see, when you learn lonely, when you depressed, 
when, when you're dealing with your own challenges and you're dealing with situations, you'll make bad you'll make bad decisions to make you feel better about the scenario and situations that you're in. But I'm going to tell you something. Every day that God puts breath in your body, you better be learning a lesson. And every day that you are living, you should be learning. Yeah, I said it. And before I take it back, I'm going to add more to it. And I know you heard me the first time. Listen, hopefully I will see you tomorrow. Uh, I mean, not tomorrow, but hopefully I will see you on uh, Saturday for Black Bingo. Listen, happy birthday uh, to Celeste Blackman. I'm going to be hosting her birthday, her 45th birthday party uh, this weekend, as well as uh, doing some um, um, amazing events and planning for some amazing things that we got coming up. Um, also in um, the month of May for Mother's Day, um, myself, along with my business partners, uh, we are doing I Remember Her uh, Mother's Day brunch. Uh, the tickets are on Eventbrite. You can go and get your tickets now. Listen, if you lost your mother, uh, lost your grandmother, or lost somebody that you really love and you want to honor them um, at this dinner, listen, make sure you get your tickets on Eventbrite. I love y'all. And listen, I'm telling y'all right now, yeah, I said it before I take it back. I'm going to add more to it. If you are living, you should be learning. I love y'all. Have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Make sure y'all stay safe. Make sure y'all wash, wash y'all hands, brush y'all teeth, and stay out of people's faces that ain't in y'all face. And listen, if you're going to support people, support them for real, not for fake. All right? Until next time, I'll see y'all next week. Peace.